And welcome back, everyone, to the Bulldog Blitz Football Radio Show, presented by Two Hats Ranch. Rob Bentley and Sandy Golston with you, and we're joined now by Ferris State University tailback Cannon Katzer. Cannon, first of all, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. I know a uh, newcomer here to this Bulldog program. Uh, what's it been like uh, here at Ferris State? I guess now uh, a few months uh, here into your Bulldog career. Yeah, it's uh, it's been great. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Love all the coaches and all the players. I'm just really happy that I decided to come here. I know uh, you came, uh, obviously, and you've had a couple opportunities to play elsewhere. Uh, maybe what brought you here to Ferris State? And uh, tell us about the story of uh, kind of you becoming a Bulldog. Yeah, the the story, I don't know if uh, TA's ever elab- elaborated on it, but uh, back in June, he hit me up and I and, uh, went on a visit here and uh, really enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, as I thought I was done playing football, so I just kind of didn't really blow TA off, but he kept texting and kept calling. And uh, and I was at the time I was working as a lineman, so I was you know had a career going. Thought I was done with football, but uh, TA you know kept uh, hounding me, so <laughs> finally convinced me. But I know uh, obviously uh, coming here to Ferris State and uh, being a part of the Bulldog program, what's it like uh, coming into a program like this that's had obviously so much success uh, here in recent years? Yeah, it's just uh, super awesome and. And uh, it's just great to be part of a, a winning program like this. So, I know this past weekend uh, you had obviously a great ball game. Uh, scored the opening touchdown in the in the first quarter. Maybe talk about that performance uh, this past Saturday uh, for the entire team, uh, really on both sides of the ball against Roosevelt. Yeah, I think uh, we came out a little slow. You know, we we may have overlooked this team a little bit, and you know, kind of played down to their level for a little bit. But uh, the offense and defense, we finally turned things around and. And started playing Ferris football. So, speaking of turning things around, since that uh, game against Pittsburgh State, maybe uh, what's been the difference in terms of the offensive uh, philosophy, I guess, and and uh, certainly the able, the results you guys have been able to achieve uh, here offensively. Yeah, I think uh, that Pitt State game was was just a nightmare. You know, it's just that's just part of the game. So, you know, when those bad things happen, I you know just good teams respond well, and I think we're really responding well to that loss. Because you guys were really mentally challenged after the Pitt State game and, and, you know, being down there on the field with you guys after the game, it looked like you guys were just ready to get back into the lab, like get back into practice and get back to work. It, it, was that kind of the feeling that you got after the game? Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, you know, like I said, a lot of teams could take that loss and kind of dwell on it a little mm-hmm. bit and, you know, not come to practice ready to work. But, you know, our whole team, you know, that next week we came back hungry and, and uh, I think, you know, it's shown. What's it been like joining this team with so many weapons and you guys have a lot of depth and a lot of guys that can that can make plays and and what was it like it had to be a really good feeling because you guys came back with that Lake Erie game and you guys really took off after that Lake Erie game it's like you guys kind of got in your groove after that at during that Lake Erie game and then on yeah I think uh it was kind of a sigh of relief for for everybody like you said we have tons of threats you know anybody on our team could could really have a good impact so how did you feel like you were going to fit in and and really and kind of describe yourself as a back to to people who maybe uh, aren't as familiar with you because you you really bring a lot of versatility to to the backfield. Describe myself as a back. Um, I don't yeah, know I, the different things you do well. Yeah, I feel like uh, I'm an all around back. You know, I'm not not super good at one thing and bad at another. I feel like I'm you know kind of all around. What's and then one of the things that uh, we've talked with with coach over the years is there's a commitment just whether it's receivers and obviously the linemen, but everybody gets out there and blocks. Everybody does all the little things that that help be successful. And some of those long runs you get because guys are out there blocking for you, including the receivers. Yeah, exactly. Like that uh, first or that first touchdown last weekend, um, Cam Underwood was. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys have watched the the play, but he's down. 65 yards blocking his guy, allowing me to, to get in the end zone. So all those little things, you know, that some people may not notice, you know, they see like the guy scoring, but really takes all 11 of us out there to get, you know, a touchdown like that done. And how did the guys welcome you? How did you, you know, join in uh, this culture and, and a lot of guys that have been here four or five, six years that, that have really been a part of the program and, and, and won championships? And what was it like for you to come in and, and kind of mix, you know, obviously from a play standpoint, you, you mixed in really well. Uh, what was it like kind of culturally mixing in with the team? Yeah, culture. I feel like uh, we have a super good culture and it's it's really all based around, you know, family. We're all uh, really close on and off the field. So I think that you know, allows us to play the way we do. So, so coming in, 
what did, what did you, you you obviously got to know a little bit about Fair State, but uh, what did you get to know about like the GLIAC and and this region because it's you know the GLIAC is you know considered a top conference and and the, and this region is considered uh, one of if not the toughest regions in Division Two. Um, were you aware of all that stuff coming in? Yeah, TA, uh, you know, definitely told me about all that and told me about you know a school we don't talk about. So uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a it's a good conference and yeah. and. Um, you know, I'm super pumped to be in it for sure. And, you know, coming back, uh, you know, you know, growing up and, and it, you know, out west and, and coming back here, was it uh, anything that you had to do special to adapt or is it just about just getting out here and just just getting to work? Yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm, like not being from Florida, there's really not a whole lot to adapt to. <laughs> uh, like in Washington, it gets pretty cold, you know, around the same time this place does. And, you know, it snows a lot. Probably the only thing different is, you know, how flat it is here, but still, <laughs> still adjusting to that. But that's all right. That is our, we remarked about that when we were out in at Central Washington and uh, we came in there late at night and then you wake up in the morning and there's like mountains around. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you're just not used to seeing mountains uh, out here in, in Michigan. Um you know, what's it been like, uh, you know, in practice and, and just it just seems like guys are just really committed to just getting better every day. And, and, and you guys are just really putting in the work and being focused. I mean, would you some of that really due to the leadership of the team and the experienced guys that you have on the team coming back? Yeah, I think uh, for sure. All the all the all the old heads, I'll say, you know, they're <laughs> kind of leading the way. But, you know, coach always tells us how hard we're practicing, but I don't think any of us really really notice it we're just like out there playing football and we all have one common goal so it just kind of makes it easy for all of us to you know get after it and then before i kick it back to rob um so what do you do off the field to have fun what's uh when you uh, put the football down or do you put the football down (laughs) yeah i'll put the football down (laughs) what do you do video games guitar uh here, here I'm, I bowl sometimes for sure. Oh, but, we'll bowl. Uh, okay. But yeah, I play the guitar. Um, not much of a video game guy, but since the new you know NCAA game came out, I started grinding that with the boys back home a little bit. But uh, but yeah, right now it's football season, so just really locked in on that. So where do you rank as a bowler among your teammates? As a, oh, as along the teammates, man, I don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to bowl against them to see, but all right, all right, all right. Know. still plenty of season. <laughs> yeah. Cannon, uh, as you look forward uh, here into the schedule, uh, maybe talk about uh, what, what this team has to do to continue to elevate the game and, and continue to make strides to becoming the best team you guys can be. Yeah, I think uh, you know just trusting the coaches and trusting our abilities and just keep playing the football we're playing. I think uh, we can do a lot of good things for sure. Obviously, uh, you've played a couple road games already, but going down to Detroit on Saturday night to take on Wayne State, a uh, evening game. There's always a great crowd, uh, kind of in the Motor City. Uh, are, are you looking forward to that opportunity uh, just to go out there uh, on Saturday night in Detroit? Yeah, I'm super, super excited, super pumped for it. You know, all these places that we're traveling to, being a West Coast guy, you know, everything's new and exciting for me. So, to be able to go down in Detroit and play uh, football, I'm super stoked. I know uh, coming into Ferris State, uh, how much uh, did you know about uh, the, the guys on the team? And I know uh, you had an opportunity to obviously meet some of those guys when, when you came to campus this summer, but uh, how much uh, did you really study and, and learn about these guys before you got here? Yeah, well, Coach T.A. told me about, you know, the recruits that are coming in and, you know, just the, the guys like Connor coming back from Oklahoma and, you know, just telling me about all the, you know, the good, the good guys he has on the team, you know, really drawed me into this team for sure. I know you've had a chance uh, here, obviously, uh, through camp and then now the first month or so of the season. But maybe talk about the playmakers you guys have, uh, you know, not only in the running back position, but obviously a quarterback with Trinidad and, and some of the wide receivers. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, I think Trent has stepped into a spot and I think he stepped in it to really well. I think he's performing super good. And, you know, our O-line giving everybody giving him time to throw the ball and and our our wide receivers being good threats and our DBs. You know, I could talk on and on about really our whole team, you know, it's a specialist to everybody. Maybe how about that uh, running back room? Obviously, uh, you're you're the guy that's uh, kind of starting the games, and but there's a number of other guys in there that are certainly capable, and uh, we've seen uh, a lot of different guys kind of play at that position uh, here over the course of the year. Yeah, certainly. I think uh, the running back room is super deep. I think a lot of the guys could could get it done just as well, so for sure. 
I know uh, maybe talk about uh, your offensive line. We asked Trinidad this uh, earlier in the year, but uh, you owe those guys maybe some dinner or something uh, here before the season's all over? Yeah, for sure. I definitely owe them something. I just got to figure out what that is. <laughs> and what his budget is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe talk about some goals you have uh, here as uh, as we get ready to approach the middle part of October and and obviously uh, some big games still out there. Uh, some goals you have personally and then, and then for the team uh, here as you move forward. Yeah, personally, I think uh, it'd be nice to keep above 100 yards a game. That's my goal and a, and a touchdown. And, uh, you know, stats don't really show up, but just want to have a few uh, flat backs every game. That would be nice for sure. <laughs> but uh, team goal, I think it's known. Everyone has the same goal. You know, we want to go win that national championship again. So, What was it like for you, uh, obviously, this past weekend and playing in front of a homecoming crowd and, and having a chance to get into the end zone in front of a lot of those uh, supporters that you guys have? Yeah, it's awesome. I think uh, our fan base is super cool and uh, super supporting. So it was awesome to experience that atmosphere. Well, Ken, and uh, we appreciate the time. And uh, thanks uh, for uh, coming on the show with us uh, here today. And uh, best of luck on Saturday night at Wayne State. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Let's go. We'll be back with more of the Bulldog Blitz football radio show after this break right here on the Bulldog Sports Network.